Hi, I'm Henry Cordemanche, owner of Azure Sky. Welcome to our hotel. As you come through the breezeway and the front gates of the property, you walk right into this really lush and tropical landscaping. We really wanted to make it feel very tranquil on property, and we think a great way to accomplish that is to have an overinvestment in landscaping. There's a lot of greenery, a lot of lush grass, ficus, all of our palm trees on property that we brought in, as well as some that were originally here, make it feel like you've been transported somewhere very tropical, unlike the desert. So you come in right into this great event space that we have surrounded by eight of our rooms are in the front courtyard. And those rooms uh, all have little patios on the front and then they also have private patios off of the back. So on the front you have two chairs and a coffee table, drink your morning coffee. And then if you wanna have more of like a private layout on the back patio, each room has that option as well. There is a really interesting fireplace that's really kind of the centerpiece of our main courtyard. And I've already seen a majority of our guests really congregate around that as a great outdoor space at night. Just continuing throughout the property, you walk through this really interesting hallway and it lets out to what I consider to be the keystone of this property, which is our pool courtyard. We have a pool bar that is built right next to the courtyard. And in that courtyard, we have tables for dining as well as lounge chairs around the pool. We have enough lounge chairs for everybody on property. We have three enclosed ficus in spaces in the back that are more of a private seating area for you by the pool. They're really special places to sunbathe, hang out by the pool, spend your afternoon. So when we bought the property, the main pool was in the first courtyard right off the lobby. And then we saw an opportunity to move the pool back to the bigger courtyard, which originally housed two pickleball courts. Since we moved the pool back there, we now have created this really interesting event space, perfect for weddings and, and large group gatherings. And through the redevelopment, we created this courtyard. We wanted to privatize this area from the street. Originally, it was pretty open. People walking past on the sidewalk could just look in and see everything that was going on. So we decided to build this really interesting architectural kind of facade or face on the building that creates these interesting lighting patterns throughout different periods of the day that are cast across the lawn and across the whole property. The architecture of the facade was really meant to accentuate the current and historical architecture of the building while not trying to hide the cool angles and lines of the A-frame. We really wanted to put that at the forefront of everybody's mind as they saw the building. It also creates that level of privacy that we feel is really key in making the property feel intimate for all of our guests. This property was developed originally in the 50s. We do know that it originally started out as a timeshare and then that timeshare was kind of deconstructed and converted into a hotel. That hotel was later converted to an apartment building, though it still held its zoning for both hospitality as well as residential. So when we acquired the property, we were able to convert it back to a hotel. We had the option of keeping it apartments or converting it to a hotel, though we realized that this property was a much better fit for a hotel just due to the location as well as the layout. Through looking at the property, it kind of feels like a large house. It's very homey. This main lobby room really just feels like a living room for everybody to congregate, come together, share a cocktail by the fireplace. It really does feel like home here. This property really was designed to have everything that you could need for your trip to Palm Springs. The pool being as big as it is really makes it feel like you have it to yourself. Another aspect that really makes it feel like home, we allow our guests to take our bikes out around town, fully complimentary, take them out, come back home. We also really wanted it to feel like home across the common areas. So whether it be the courtyard having enough seating for everybody to just lay out in the sun, or the living room be at a scale that is able to bring people together in the afternoon. Whether you wanna take over this area for your afternoon cocktails with some other friends, or if you're meeting new people and having cocktails from the bar, it really is a homey space here. So there's three room categories here on property. We have the fig, the olive, and then the agave suites. So the fig rooms are gonna be your standard 
entry level room. Um, beautiful design. The headboards and beds were all custom made and integrated into the rooms. That goes across all three room categories, as well as all rooms having their own kitchenettes, which really makes it conducive of longer term stays. Uh, you can really feel at home. If you're here for a week, you might not want to go out to dinner every night. You might want to bring home leftovers and be able to heat them up. So we provide all the necessary affects to a kitchen of pots and pans and silverware, dishware. So that makes it really nice to stay for a longer period of time. In those fig rooms, there's still plenty of space to sit. We have a bistro table and chairs for you to sit and eat in your room. The category above that would be our olive, which is our, our middle tier room. Significantly larger than our figs. They have a bigger kitchen, bigger seating area, private patios, and then also a studio style couch and seating area with a coffee table that really allows you to spread out, unpack, and feel at home. And then lastly, our highest end category are our agave suites. And the agave suites have a separate bedroom and living room, larger bathrooms. They tend to have more natural light in them, which is really why I prefer to be in those rooms. They also have those private patios. Each of our private patios have hammocks which is a very luxurious way to spend an afternoon, is in your own privacy, sitting in the sun, uh, maybe enjoying an afternoon cocktail in your hammock. I've always had a great passion for travel my whole life. I've been fortunate enough to see some very unique places around the world and experience some spectacular hotels and take ideas and, and concepts from them and apply them to my own properties. So that combined with the fact that I had partially grown up in Palm Springs kind of speaks to my understanding and knowledge of the community and how much I want to preserve this community and make sure that it still feels like the old Palm Springs that I remember as, as a kid. I think one way that we qualify the design aesthetic of this property is the uh, mid-century modern with an emphasis on modern. And I think that the true meaning of mid-century modern is clean lines, clean and interesting color palettes. It doesn't have to be hyper flamboyant to be a beautiful mid-century modern structure. That said, we wanted to make it feel calm and tranquil and somewhere that you could relax for the day and not have loud colors uh, in your face throughout your stay. It's been a pleasure to show you around Azure Sky. Thank you so much for stopping by.